Welcome to day 15 of our savings challenge, where we'll be discussing the importance of tracking your expenses. In this video, we'll delve into the nitty gritty details of why monitoring your spending is crucial and how you can develop a habit of tracking your expenses effectively. So let's get started. Number one, the benefits of tracking expenses. The benefits of keeping a close eye on your spending are numerous. For one, it allows you to identify areas where you might be overspending and adjust your budget accordingly. Additionally, tracking your expenses can help you stay on top of bills and ensure that you are not spending more than you can afford. In this chapter, we will explore the many benefits of tracking expenses and how to get started. To begin with, Tracking expenses can help you identify patterns in your spending. By keeping track of every penny that you spend, you can easily see where your money is going each month. This can be particularly helpful if you are trying to cut back on certain expenses, such as dining out or shopping. Another benefit of tracking your expenses is that it can help you stick to your budget. When you know exactly how much money you have coming in and going out, it is easier to stay within your means. By setting a budget and tracking your expenses, you can ensure that you are not overspending and putting yourself into debt. Additionally, tracking expenses can help you stay on top of bills and avoid late fees. By tracking due dates and paying bills on time, you can avoid costly fees and penalties that can add up quickly. This can be especially helpful if you are trying to improve your credit score or get out of debt. Finally, tracking your expenses can help you save money over time. By identifying areas where you are overspending and cutting back on unnecessary expenses, you can free up extra cash to put toward your financial goals. Whether you are saving for a down payment on a house or planning for retirement, tracking expenses is an essential step in achieving your financial goals. Number two, different methods of tracking expenses now that you understand the benefits of tracking your expenses, it's time to explore the different methods you can use to keep tabs on your spending. One option is to use a simple pen and paper to jot down your expenses as you make them. Another option is to use a spreadsheet or budgeting app to track your expenses electronically. You can also consider using specialized software designed specifically for expense tracking. Each method has its own advantages and disadvantages, so it's important to find the one that works best for you and your financial situation. Number three, how to set realistic budget goals. Setting realistic budget goals can be a daunting task, but it is an essential step in gaining financial freedom. The key is to create a budget that is both realistic and achievable. By following these steps, you can set realistic budget goals and stick to them. To start, determine your monthly income and expenses. This will give you a clear understanding of your current financial situation. Once you have this information, you can start setting realistic budget goals that fit within your means. One strategy is to use the 50-30-20 rule. This rule suggests that you allocate 50% of your income towards necessities such as housing, food, and transportation, 30% towards discretionary spending, and 20% towards discretionary spending, and 20% towards savings and debt repayment. Another approach is to use the zero-based budgeting method. With this method, you start with your monthly income and allocate every dollar to a specific expense category until you reach zero. This ensures that every dollar is accounted for and helps prevent overspending. No matter which method you choose, it's important to be realistic with your budget goals. Setting goals that are too high can lead to frustration and disappointment, while goals that are too low may not challenge you enough. Number four, identifying problem areas in spending. One of the key benefits of tracking our expenses is that it allows us to see exactly where our money is going. By doing so, we can identify areas where we're spending too much and adjust our habits accordingly. This not only helps us save money, but also ensures that our spending aligns with our values and priorities. 
One method of identifying problem areas in our spending is to categorize our expenses. By breaking down our expenses into categories such as food, transportation, and entertainment, we can see where we're spending the most money. We might discover, for example, that we're spending more on dining out than we realized or that our transportation costs are higher than necessary. Another method is to track our expenses over time and look for patterns. We might notice that we tend to spend more on weekends or that our expenses increase during the holiday season. By recognizing these patterns, we can prepare for them and adjust our budgets accordingly. Number five, tips for reducing overspending. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. As you begin to track your expenses, you may notice areas where you tend to overspend. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. But the good news is that there are plenty of strategies you can use to reduce your spending and stay on track with your budget goals. Here are some tips to help you get started. Start by identifying your spending triggers. Do you tend to overspend when you're feeling stressed or emotional? Are there certain stores or websites that you find it hard to resist? Once you know what your triggers are, you can take steps to avoid them or find healthier ways to cope. Make a list before you go shopping. Whether you're heading to the grocery store or the mall, having a list can help you stay focused and avoid impulse purchases. Use cash instead of credit cards. Research has shown that people tend to spend less when they're using cash instead of plastic. Consider withdrawing a set amount of cash each week and using that for your day-to-day -day expenses. Cut back on non-essentials. Take a look at your monthly expenses and see if there are any non-essential items or services you can cut back on. Maybe you don't need that streaming subscription or gym membership. After all, try a spending freeze. Challenge yourself to go a week or two without spending any money on non-essential items. This can help you break the habit of impulse spending and give you a chance to reevaluate your priorities. Number six, the importance of tracking variable expenses. It's no secret that fixed expenses are the easiest to budget for, but variable expenses can fluctuate and be harder to control. However, Tracking them can help you understand how much you're spending and where you can cut back. One of the main benefits of tracking variable expenses is that it can give you a better idea of your spending habits. By seeing how much you're spending on things like groceries or entertainment each month, you can identify areas where you may be overspending. Another benefit is that it can help you plan for unexpected expenses. By setting aside some money each month for variable expenses like car repairs or medical bills, you can be better prepared for when those expenses come up. Number seven, creating a realistic monthly budget. One of the first steps in creating a realistic budget is to identify your fixed expenses. These are expenses that are the same each month, such as rent, utilities, and car payments. Once you have identified your fixed expenses, you can determine how much income you need to cover these expenses each month. Next, you should identify your variable expenses. These are expenses that vary from month to month, such as groceries, entertainment, and clothing. To create a realistic budget, it is important to track your variable expenses over time and determine an average monthly cost for each category. Once you have identified your fixed and variable expenses, you can create a budget that allocates your income accordingly. It is important to prioritize your expenses, putting the most important ones first. This means that your rent, utilities, and other fixed expenses should be at the top of your budget. To create a realistic monthly budget, you may need to make adjustments to your spending habits. This may mean cutting back on certain expenses or finding ways to reduce your overall spending. It is important to be realistic about what you can afford and make changes that are sustainable over the long term. Number eight, utilizing budgeting apps. A budgeting app can help you track your expenses in real time allowing you to quickly identify areas where you're overspending. Many of these apps also provide you with personalized advice to help you stay on track. Additionally, 
they can help you set up automatic payments, making it easier to manage your finances. When choosing a budgeting app, it's essential to consider the features that are most important to you. Some apps have more advanced features, such as investment tracking or retirement planning, while others are simpler and easier to use. Additionally, some apps require a monthly subscription fee while others are free to use. Before choosing a budgeting app, consider your financial goals and what you hope to achieve through budgeting. Once you've identified your priorities, research different apps and read reviews from other users to determine which one is the best fit for you. Remember, the right app can make budgeting not only easier, but also more enjoyable. Number nine, final thoughts and action plan. As we conclude our discussion on the importance of tracking expenses, it's time to take action and create a plan to achieve financial stability. Here are some final thoughts to keep in mind. Firstly, remember that tracking your expenses is not a one-time task, but rather an ongoing habit that should be regularly practiced. Secondly, always be willing to adjust your budget and expenses according to your changing needs and priorities. Thirdly, do not be too hard on yourself if you slip up and overspend on occasion. Simply acknowledge the mistake and get back on track. Finally, be proud of yourself for taking the steps towards financial responsibility and independence. With all of this in mind, it's time to create an action plan. Start by setting achievable goals for yourself, both short-term and long-term. Next, create a realistic budget that reflects your income and expenses. Use a budgeting app to help you stay on track and make adjustments as needed. Remember to track all of your expenses, including variable expenses, and identify areas where you can reduce overspending. Celebrate your progress, and don't forget to reassess and adjust your plan as needed. As the end of another informative day approaches, it's time to look forward to tomorrow's topic. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying these daily lessons and want to continue learning, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update. Tomorrow, we'll dive into the exciting world of investing, specifically stocks and bonds. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, this is an essential topic for building your financial future. So join us for day 16 and learn how to get started with stocks and bonds. 